Hello, you're watching one of my videos on how to replace the hard disk in an Acer Aspire C24 760 series all-in-one computer. So it's Acer Aspire C24 760 series computer manufactured towards the end of 2016. Uh, this was sold in PC World and Curry's and other UK physical stores, probably also sold online as well. Um, there are two versions of this video. There is the other version you could watch, which is nearly an hour long uh, of the entire process of me trying to work out how you take this computer to bits, because I've never taken one to bits before. So if you're interested what's inside a com uh, the computer, how you would take the LCD panel out, which is separate to the LCD diffuser, um, and just general bits and bobs about you know, how to open up the machine, uh, do look in the description of this video and it will link you to the longer video. So the video you are watching now is a heavily edited version of that long video which shows you just what you need to take the hard disk out to replace it or to, to remove the panels to get to the hard disk. So uh, this video is much shorter but it's also much more concise and doesn't have some of the mistakes that I made in the long video. But uh, if you do want to take your machine to bits to service it or replace the hard disk, I recommend watching all the way through the video to make sure that you are uh, happy performing all of the steps or confident performing all of the steps that are required to take the machine to bits and then put it back together. Uh, if in doubt, take your computer to somebody who does it for a living. Um, uh, but otherwise, if you do break your machine, do please don't blame me, uh, but very good luck to you. I'm going to unscrew it. And it's probably going to fall to the ground because I don't have three hands. Oh no, not too bad. All right, go. There we go. That's the. Uh, the stand taken off of it. I'm going to start by undoing the uh, seven screws on this bezel. And now, due to my toweling, I'm, I don't have anywhere convenient to store the screws. already popped out of that end. Just by removing the screws it's uh, released some tension. Let's remove that bottom bezel. Um, and if I do that and then look down around about where are we here, I can see what looks like a clip. Oh my goodness, that was a mission. I finally managed to get that clip undone by being very careful with this ribbon cable that's here, there, there. Uh, jamming that open as much as I could with my finger there, using a flat blade screwdriver that's got a fairly small flat end, and then going under there and basically going on, uh, say the clip grabs in kind of there, making sure that I was going in under 
this side of the case and then pushed it upwards and that's now loosened that. So um, I think the next step is to try the same on the other side. So oof, let's hope that that's possible. So I'm going to do the same thing, which is jam that open with my finger as much as I can. And then the screwdriver under there. There you go. Right. Oh my goodness. So that's now loosened up that entire section, but it still hasn't made it removable. managed to get that side there quite clear to release the rest of it. Uh -huh, there's another bit. Right, we're up to about here that's been lifted. So we've got this side near the serial number sticker sorted and uh, lifted up you get to about where the USB is. So while pushing this side up, very, there's a, if you look at the USB port, it's quite, probably don't think I'm gonna be able to show it. Let's give it a go. There is a slightly larger gap. Um, yeah, it doesn't really show it, but basically right about there, there's a slightly bigger gap between the plastic and the USB port. And it looks like, hopefully I can demonstrate it. If I hold that up and try not to get my head in the way, which I probably will, put the screwdriver there and hinge, whoops, yeah, see that didn't work, hinge the plastic outwards seems to uh, to behave. So let's try that again. So I get to about there. Put that down there. Aha, yep, there you go. That bit's now unclicked. And one step further, I pressed down there. And if you look down there with a torch, you can see where it clips on. And now that is undone up until that point. So it's one more clip, just one more clip there. Done it. I have done it. So after I got that one done there, by sticking the screwdriver down there and that, that bit unclipped, I just used not really too much force, but a lot of force pushing this up that direction and it's unclipped. So now oh, I just need to work out how to get it off of this stand and get it around the stand. So one tiny screw there. And uh, in Lenovo style it's um, taped. One more screw there. One more screw down in there. That's going to be a real pain if you lose a screw in there. So make sure you have a magnetic screwdriver. I've dropped the screw in there. Ah, oh, liberated uh, hard disk, liberated. Oh, there it is. Right, so that's going to be a real pain to watch out for if you are repairing one of those. There is the hard disk. Right, 
I have had to replace the hard disk because the other one doesn't seem to want to be repaired. It's very simple, it's four screws around the edge there and uh, put the new drive in and let's see how we go. So my advice to you, so maybe a magnetic screwdriver is the answer. Ah, yes, that's done that one. Whoops. Hopefully, clip this nightmare back into place. Let's hope that it goes on easier than it came off. The answer is, it seems to have snapped down pretty much instantly on that bit that was a total nightmare to, to get it up. So that is enjoyable. Right. So will this clip back in? Yep. Next side. Hooray, right, which is the bezel that needs to go there first. Right, when you're putting this back on, it has tabs, so I hope this is uh, in focus. There's a tab there, and at the other end is another tab. So you need to make sure, when you're putting it back together, that those tabs go underneath there so that it's flush with the uh, the rest of the case if you're doing it uh, while this is facing away from you you might not notice that and that might be a, an issue that you then either bend the tabs or um, have to take it all off and start again So uh, the screw on that side done. Makes me very glad I've got magnetic tipped or magnetized screwdrivers. And even with those, it's fairly difficult, but without them, it'd be uh, pretty impossible.
to putting the stand back on. Turn it back over, put in the wireless keyboard receiver, the SD card cover, Plug in a keyboard and mouse. I'm oh, sorry, plug in a keyboard and power. And there we go. One repaired Acer all in one computer. Bit of a nightmare to work on, but it got there in the end, and hopefully, this video has helped you achieve the same thing or get to the components that you needed. Good luck.